and thank you very much for watching Stay Connected with EVs. And first of all, most importantly, Happy New Year. The New Year brings some challenges, and I know one of the things that many of you probably will complain about is, is this vehicle compliant for the federal tax rebate? What cars are available? And what I want to do today is go over all the guidelines, because a lot of things have changed, and go over what your options are to get your federal tax rebate. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the IRS website. And what it does, it breaks out what vehicles actually are compliant to get the federal tax rebate and how much they are. So if we take a look here, on Chevy side, you have the Bolt EUV and the EV, and they both qualify for the $7,500 tax rebate. And then obviously, if you do decide to buy one of those vehicles, you could... Uh, just check them in here. Now, you also have to make sure you look at the years here, okay? Or click the check VIN feature here. Chrysler has one. It's the uh, Pacifica. Ford has pretty much only two. The Escape and the F-150. Um, Mustang is not on there. The Mach-E. The Jeep. Uh, Jeep keeps theirs, but they uh, have a 3750 rebate on theirs. Um, I actually have the Wrangler uh, 4XE, and it's a fantastic car. And as you can see, these are 2024s. Lincoln, the Corsair Grand Touring. Rivian, big win here, um, just because they haven't hit their allotment. allotment. But up to 80000 as you can see, the, uh, the, the limit on these vehicles. And you can see the R1T, the R1S, they all qualify uh, for thirty-seven fifty, And again, 2024. Tesla. Now, I'm going to go over this. So Tesla did kind of run into some snags, I would say. The Model 3 performance qualifies for the $7,500 rebate. The Model X long range. So when we look at the Model 3, so that eliminates the rear wheel drive. That does not qualify in the long range. Model X long range. And as you can see, the Model 3 2024. So that's good if you're looking to get one of the 2024s uh, when they come out, the Highland, um, that's a great option. So, um, and even if you want to grab a great deal on a 2023, and also just full disclosure, there's a link in the show notes. You can use my link, and you get six months of free supercharging, um, which is a really good deal. But the Model Y all-wheel drive, um, I retract, it is uh, available. It is the rear-wheel, uh, the Model Y performance and the Model Y rear wheel drive. So Model Y right now, from the way it looks, is the rear wheel drive is there, the performance and the all wheel drive. So um, the only one that I don't see is the long range. So that one does not qualify. But next, when we look at Tesla's statement here, you get a $7,500 tax rebate. Uh, customers who take delivery on a qualified new Tesla and meet all the federal requirements are eligible for a tax credit up, up to, up to 7500 So here's the uh, the tax guidelines. Again, I, I would speak to your accountant, whoever does your taxes, make sure that you qualify. But here, here's also um, the vehicles that they're breaking out here. The eligibility, and then we will go into this nice little page here that I know everyone is interested in. But the Cybertruck, the Cybertruck, according to Tesla, the Cybertruck is likely to qualify for the federal tax credit later in 2024. So the only thing that I can think of is when we look at the configurator, this is the one right here, these two, the all-wheel drive, is what I'm thinking that they're going to go after. Uh, the rear wheel drive, obviously, uh, we won't know because this is probably not going to come out next year, uh, this year. Uh, but those who are looking at an all wheel drive, listen, you you might be able to get that tax rebate. And if you do, that's that's significant. So let's let's just walk through this. Um, that's seventy six thousand three ninety. 
you're probably going to be able to get it around 70000 with fees and so forth. So that's that's not bad. Um, but again, one of the things, so as I said, that's why I was saying, because whenever Tesla does these configurators, they always have probable savings. I wish they would get rid of that. Um, so if you take seventy nine ninety minus the the rebate now again, the rebate that they're saying was going to be let's take a look real quick thirty. Uh, so again, it's probably going to be depending seventy five hundred. So that could bring that car down to around seventy two thousand seventy one thousand, which is really good. Um, so I wanted to kind of bring that out and then also I want to kind of show you you know what what the compliance is why certain cars do and don't qualify so there's a, four different areas if the battery compo uh, component sourced from a foreign entity is a, is concerned it's not compliant so any parts of the battery component it disqualifies it if it's not if there's kind of like a gray area where they're sourcing some of the parts where all the parts have to be obviously sourced from the United States. Uh, critical minerals sourced from foreign entity are still compliant in 2024. In 2025, they will not be compliant. And then the percentage of battery components assembled in North America, you have to be 60%. That has not changed. And then the percentage of critical mineral minerals sourced they're going to go from 2024 to, to uh, in 2025 to 60 percent. So, with that, I'm I'm hopeful that this video will bring some more sense to um, what you need to do and where you need to go. I'll also put all the links in the show notes. Um, one thing I would say is if this video is helpful to you, I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll show you um, really what the whole process is and. Basically, if you use the link that I have here, this is what you get. Now, again, they have not updated this. You get six months of free supercharging and three months of full self-driving, um, which is really great. So if you're looking to buy um, maybe some of the, let's take a look. Uh, let's see, inventory on a, let's just say a Model 3, Model 3. We're going to just say from low to high. So if we were to look at, let's take a look at here. So if we look at model three, the only car that is, you know, kind of, com well, is compliant is the performance. So let's just take a look. The performance. So you can get a performance model three with the rebate as long as it's below 55 grand which it is for below 40,000 that is insane um let's just double check here I'm going to just double check here yeah so let's see what happens when I go in the configurator and let's take a look Sorry. Let's say we're going to go get this. This is really great. Um, so again, it pops up saying that you're going to get three months of full self-driving. And that value is $600. And then you get six months of unlimited free supercharging. Let's see what the breakout shows. Now again, they might not have. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. So take a look at that. Um, we're not going to look at the, the gas savings. You can get a... This is this is just insane. Um, you can get a Model 3 performance. And we're talking a car, right, that is very, very fast for under $40,000 um, with the federal tax rebate. That is fantastic. Plus three months of full self-driving. Plus... Six months of supercharging. So you really can't beat it. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you. I'm so excited for the 2024 year. We have so much to do here at Stay Connected with EVs. I really appreciate it. I want you to all to have a fantastic 2024, a safe one, 
and a prosperous one, and you have an awesome day. Thank you so much.